Opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips is making it clear that he has no hard feelings towards fellow comrade and defeated presidential contender, Central Manchester Member of Parliament Peter Bonting. In a show of solidarity at Sunday's 81st annual conference at the National Arena, Bunting was met with thunderous applause as Dr. Phillips lauded his competitor for a well-fought battle. Comrade Peter Bunting led an intense and spirited challenge. I give him my respect and I salute him. Bunting's Rise United camp was beat by a mere 76 votes in the September 7 internal election. In spite of the loss, Rise United campaign manager and member of parliament for Northwest St. Anne, Dr. Dayton Campbell, made it clear that he remains committed to serving in the People's National Party, PNP. Coming out of this, the selection contest that um, I am somebody who believes in the democratic process, not only when I win, but I believe in the democratic process when I lose as well. And so, you know, that is over and we move forward uh, with the mission of the party. We don't have enemies inside of the party. I don't have enemies inside of the JLP. And so we have some national issues that are confronting the country that I think are, are also of concern to persons, even in the Labour Party, that we need to address as a people. Uh, we think that we are the better movement to bring those solutions to the country. And um, so we continue to move forward as, as, as a united party to try and implement those, those well-needed reforms for the country. However, outgoing Member of Parliament for Central Kingston, Ronald Thwaites, who had aligned with the Rise United camp, expressed his disappointment with the treatment of executive party members who supported the Rise United camp. He claims they were ostracized during Sunday's event. I think the party leader gave a good speech. I think it will uh, give a vision to the country. I think that uh, it certainly has energized the base. Um, I'm very sorry that he didn't include, or the, the, the conference didn't include uh, Comrade Bunting and a strong word from him of affirmation. I think that was a mistake and in fact disrespectful, but uh, let us try and overcome that. Obviously, I mean, that's, that's so obvious. Um, the body language, the seating, the, the re what was said and what was not said, um, very, very clear. So we have to work with that, but I think the way that you do that is to cohere around a certain set of dynamic new policies. And it is that that I look forward to working on. Outgoing St. James Southern Member of Parliament Derek Kelly, who also supported Peter Bunting for president, is optimistic that the party will be able to put the elections behind them. First of all, there was no disunity. There was a challenge. Like any other time, the challenge has been settled. Peter Phillips has emerged as the winner of that challenge. And we're getting on with the work. It is nothing that we have to soap or mix up and blend up. It is there. We just need to get back to work and do what we were doing before. Organizing our divisions, organizing our constituencies, organizing our regions and our parishes to ensure we are a formidable opposition for the JLP and a formidable opposition ready to take over. A similar sentiment was shared by General Secretary Julian Robinson. I think the, the, the gesture today of both of them acknowledging each other I think was a good start and both as you just interviewed Dayton, um, two teams have been established to work together to put together a program of uh, mediation and reconciliation. So the process is only two weeks gone and you just have to continue the process. First time, um, human beings go through this all the time. Me and my friends get angry over football matches. So um, once it's a competition, time will heal it. I mean, what we believe in, we all want to win. Um, those who supported Rice is because they want to win. And those who supported Phillips is because we want to win. So that um, similarity, the question has been answered. And over time, we will come back together. But people naturally are going to be angry over some things that were said. People are going to expect support and didn't get it. People are going to expect non-support and saw it. So just time, you know. It won't happen in two weeks, but before the next election, we should be there. Party Chairman Fitz Jackson says, despite the public nature of the election, the PNP remains a united party. Indeed, as all of Jamaica and the world knows, we had an election, was fiercely contested, and of course, as Comrade Patterson said at the, at the private session yesterday, when you have a contest, there can only be one winner. And when you have a winner, 
you have one that was not successful. And um, that the result have to be recognized and accepted. Otherwise, there's no need for democracy. Um, every comrade has a role to play and they can make a contribution. All of us can make a contribution from wherever we happen to be. I am Leslie Unsure reporting for Scene Caribbean News.